Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Why well, it's important to travel outside the cities in uh, the Philippines? You find, like with Cebu, um, a lot of expats there get there and just stay there. Um, I don't know why, I don't know how it happens. I know you get family life and stuff and you get uh, involved in local things that stop you traveling, etc. But I recommend for at least one day a month, you go elsewhere. Um, the cities are dense populated things uh, with the same issues that every city has where you've got the smog, you've got loud people, you've got um, the dust. It's just not um, a relaxing atmosphere to be in. But you will find in the Philippines, if you get on a bus, take a motorbike, hire a car, whatever, and drive for 30 minutes, sometimes even only 15 minutes away from the cities, the whole environment changes. I remember driving down to the tip of the south in Cebu. Um, as you come out of Cebu city, um, it's all dense, it's all busy, slowly going down um, into Naga, still quite industrialized. The cement plant, plants there, the power plants are there. And then it starts gradually getting not only quieter on the road, but you find it's greener. The rivers go from full of garbage into um, green, green where stuff's been washed down to clean. And then as you go right down at the tip, you start seeing like at the harbour area um, on the jetty. You can actually see the old uh, tropical fish below you because you can see into the crystal clear um, sea. Um, just doing that is so revitalizing as a person, but also it shows you there's more to the Philippines. Um, that disconnection can be uh, a good health benefit but also you get to see more in the philippines if you commit yourself to one day a month of going to somewhere else then you are going to uh, experience more um, than you would do elsewhere um, it also stops you getting into that um, what do you call it the the uh, the rut of daily life where everything's just a routine and nothing else so with this at least you can turn around and go oh you know what i've got this you know you could be doing a construction problem a uh, project i say problem you're probably right um but you could be doing a construction problem project <laughs> and want a break um if you know this is coming up at the end of the month and you pre-planned it etc you've got something to look forward to which also switches your mind off from the headaches for the construction um and I know several people that have locations um, away from the city that they actually own um, because they'll go there at least a um, couple of days a month, if not a week a month. Um, some are in beach locations, some are um, just commuting. They, um, I think we may Robert at the moment, he's going to another island at the moment. He's always traveling around on his motorbike. He's got that itch that I, I have um, for traveling by motorbike. I'm gonna get another motorbike um, for Spain. Um, right now it's difficult because when I go back to Spain I'm busy with the family anyway but um, in future I will be getting a motorbike for that that bit that people that only have motorbikes understand. Um, it's it's a it's a freedom that um, that you you want and have um, yeah you, you only get it uh, I know other people that say oh I get it with this but it, I'm just saying from my perspective that's where I get my uh, freedom of just getting on and disappearing on the motorbike um, it's just something uh, of an experience that motorbike people get but the point is disconnect yourself from your daily routines book this in even if it's a routine every month it doesn't mean you go to the same place every month 
Albert that rented one of our apartments before, Albert would actually go to the bus terminal and be all over the place. I mean, he'd come down to Cebu from uh, Manila somewhere. Um, because the fact is, he moves around. He he was moved to he moved to where we were, um, and he'd been somewhere else for I think seven, twelve years, where he moved around there as well. Because what happens is he'll go to an area, travel out from it, then he'll move to another island and then travel around. Because his whole enjoyment is actually seeing things in the Philippines. Um, he works. Uh, the holiday seasons in the UK. So when it comes into the winter, he disappears to the Philippines because it costs him more to live in France uh, than it would in the Philippines. As such, he saves up all year, then spends it all on his trips around around the Philippines. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, the guy's been doing it a long time, um, and he's happy doing it. Um, but he's got the understanding of there's more to the Philippines than you're currently seeing. And the same goes for expats even in the Philippines now, is the fact is what is in outside your front door is not the only bit in the Philippines. So I remember uh, a wedding I went to. Um, I went there as a photographer for the wedding. The, the, guy, the, the guy that invited me along, because um, it was one of his relatives getting married, he normally gets into Cebu Island, uh, Mactan Island Airport, then goes to the house and then to the shopping mall. That is basically the triangle locations he goes to. Um, the wedding, it actually took him far south um, because where the, the bride was, her family location is in Argo, um, which is sort of uh, about an hour and a half, two hours from where we live in Mingonilia. Um, but he just had his eyes opened. He'd never seen this stuff. I mean, we, we got off the wedding, stripped off our shirt um, and went into the sea with our shorts on. Um, we basically were on the beach, you know, enjoying, enjoying this, you know, the environment we're in. He hadn't seen that. He'd experienced the city side, his subdivision life, which is up in the mountains and the airport. And I've been for five years. And I know a lot of expats that do that. They do not go further than they need to. Yet, if they went further than they needed to, they'd actually be happier. There's, there's better things out there. Um, like when I went to Bahal, I got invited um, by the mayor out to his sea sanctuary. Um, went out by boat and had a barbecue in that there. Those experiences don't just drop on your doorstep or on your lap. You've got to go and find them. Um, okay, they wouldn't let me go any further out because of MPA issues. Um, but at the same time, I still enjoyed where we went. Um, and on that, like I said, I listened to what they're saying. It's basically, no, we're not going. <laughs> you're not going up there tomorrow uh, because there is an MPA activity. So, but. Uh, you can um, get a lot out of the Philippines. Um, you're there to enjoy life, so enjoy it. And traveling around is one of those things I love. I mean, it's not for everybody, I know that. Um, but I do find a lot of expats get trapped um, because their partners can be quite obsessive in stopping you going anywhere um, because they're paranoid you're gonna go off with somebody else. At the same time, you didn't go all that way to be boxed in and just have a nice jail cell. You, you're there to experience life. So experience it. All right, thanks for watching.